37. If Don Calafi gets Cristiano, homeboy's going to be 37. And your boy Messi is going to be 35. So the plan is, if Mbappe is to leave, Calafi is going to do what none of us thought. None, the streets and the football fraternity, nobody would ever have driven that. Wait a minute. Messi and Cristiano in the same team? So, but we have to look at this in detail. You see, for me, like, let's not get reactionary and so forth. So let's just, we have to look at both sides. Let's look at one side. That'd be crazy. And that'll be a huge flex because Calafi is like, fine. If Mbappe goes next summer for free, cool. Cristiano's contract is finished next summer. So he'll be available for a free next summer. And we don't think he's going to extend. So he's going to say that, you know what? Let's get Cristiano and let's get Messi in the same team. So you have one of the greatest goal scorers we've ever seen in the game with, again, one of the most amazing players we've ever seen, both in the same team. Huge flex on a footballing tip because two of two players who have redefined consistency, but also on a commercial tip, my lord, just the optics of that of like, hey man, PSG, and especially the El Calafi, I was the guy that's united Cristiano and Messi onto the same team. And for the kids and so forth, people just go crazy and go mad. And maybe that move is what will help unite what has been <laughs> an extremely violent and bloody battle between Cristiano fans and Messi fans. But let's look on the other side. He's 37. He's going to be 37 ne um, next February. So by the time they sign him, he'll be 37. Messi will go on to 30, 35. So you're going to be hanging your hats on a 35-year-old and a 37-year-old. And yes, I know that these guys have redefined consistency and are still going through. But you're still taking a gamble because there will be a year when these guys finally get on the dead with the client. Because with each year that these guys keep on performing, it's like, wait a minute, because these guys are just over, 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 overextending the life expectancy of a footballer. You know, so what is what they're doing in terms of consistency, they are pissing and lubricating what we thought consistency was before they, they came through. So it is a risk. It is a risk that you're going to allow this young star, Mbappe, to go. And yes, 100%, Cristiano and Messi have a much greater legacy. 100%. Yes, they have that. But at the same time, they, they will come a time when it's over. They can't play on, they can't play till they're 45 or 46 or so forth. So, I don't, look, if they were to pull it off, it would be huge. Whether it works or doesn't work, it would be, it would be mass huge and it would break the internet. My gosh, that's PSG signed Cristiano and now PSG now have Cristiano and Messi in the same team. The two most consistent players ever in the same team. It would be mad. Would it work? I don't know. But maybe it would because now, because see, if you think about it, Cristiano, we know that can't play as a striker. So if you have a thing of Messi and Neymar both supplying an in behind a Cristiano, because I realize Cristiano by himself could win PSG the UCL based on his goal ratio. But if you now have a case of Messi and Chris, and Cristiano could just give you another big goal-scoring season with what Messi can do, Neymar, Di Maria, and the rest of the freaking team, Hakimi, Ramos. Are you you're also United Ramos and Cristiano as well? See, I thought this summer could be crazy. Next summer could be mad. If you say Umbag moves to Real Madrid and then I get Cristiano, it could be crazy. Guys, tell me what you think. Would a Cristiano to PSG with Messi at his age, would it work? Or do you think, eh, too late, too, too late? Like, subscribe, one love.